Hey guys, it's Michael. Welcome back to Michael in the Morning. Today is Monday, December 21st, 2020, and this is your second stimulus check and second stimulus package update as well as news report. We have great news because officially Congress has come to an agreement on a second stimulus package. President Trump just signed a bill extending the government funding for 24 hours late on Sunday night. So now that'll give Congress time to get the second stimulus package passed, which they already agree on, and get a $1.4 trillion government funding bill passed. More help is on the way. Moments ago, in consultation with our committees, the four leaders of the Senate and the House finalized an agreement. There will be another major rescue package for the American people. As our citizens continue battling this coronavirus, this holiday season, they will not be fighting alone. The bill did not pass last night as they did come to this agreement very late in the evening. However, they extended the government funding bill, so now they can come to an agreement today on both the government funding bill and on the second stimulus package. They agreed to provide $900 billion in the second stimulus package. It'll include direct stimulus checks, boosted unemployment benefits, money for small businesses, vaccine distribution money, as well as other funding as well. We've agreed to a package of nearly $900 billion. It is packed with targeted policies that help struggling Americans who've already waited entirely too long. For workers at the hardest hit small businesses, there will be a targeted second draw of the Paycheck Protection Program. With the money for small businesses, with the Paycheck Protection Program, this $900 billion bill would reopen the Paycheck Protection Program so that some of the hardest hit businesses can apply for a second loan. Currently, this plan is not open, even though there is funding in it. So now they're going to reopen this plan, allow more businesses to apply. This will allow more businesses to stay in business and by doing so will also create more jobs. This plan specifically designates $12 billion for minority owned and very small businesses out of the funding pool for the Paycheck Protection Program. Unlike the CARES Act though, the bill carves out $15 billion for live venues, independent movie theaters, and cultural institutions. It's more targeted on these specific businesses that have had trouble recovering from the pandemic up until this point. We've not worked so hard to save as many jobs as possible all these months, only to fumble the ball with vaccinations already underway. Speaking of vaccines, we can nullify the success of Operation Warp Speed by falling asleep at the switch on distribution. So this agreement will provide huge sums for the logistics that will get these life-saving shots to our citizens as fast as possible. As part of this bill, it's going to provide $20 billion for the purchase of vaccines so they can be available at no charge for those people who need it, as well as another $8 billion for vaccine distribution. Currently, we have vaccines that have been approved to be sent out and are being sent out. So now with this additional funding, more people will be able to get it. On top of this, it also gives states $20 billion to assist with testing of the virus. In addition to funding for the vaccine, this bill also includes funding for schools and child care, provides $82 billion in aid to K-12 through schools and colleges, and additional $10 billion in this is included to support child care providers that have struggled because of the pandemic. On top of that, rental assistance is also extended until January 31st, and it provides $25 billion in rental assistance to individuals who lost their source of income during the pandemic. With nutritional assistance, Assistance, the deal would raise SNAP benefits by 15% for six months, but would not expand eligibility. So if you are already eligible for these benefits, well, you'll get a 15% increase, but if you weren't eligible, this wouldn't apply to you. Of course, many millions of Americans have lost their jobs and are continuing to lose them through no fault of their own. This package will renew and extend a number of the additional important federal unemployment benefits that have helped families stay afloat. For the unemployment benefits, this new $900 billion bill would provide $300 weekly federal boosted unemployment benefits for 11 weeks from the end of December through mid 
March. That amount is half the earlier boost that we got with the CARES Act, which was $600 a week, so that is one thing to keep in mind. Also, this $900 billion agreement calls for the extension of two other pandemic unemployment programs that were created in the CARES Act. Both are currently set to expire at the end of December, at the end of 2020, and these would have affected additional 12 million people. The Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program expands jobless benefits to gig economy workers, independent contractors, self-employed people, and other people who would not normally be able to receive unemployment benefits. So now that is extended, and if you're a gig economy worker, self-employed, independent contractor, you'll still be able to receive these boosted unemployment benefits as part of the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program. Across all kinds of families, in all kinds of situations, this has been a difficult time across the board. So at the particular request and emphasis of President Trump and his administration, our agreement will provide another round of direct impact payments to help households make ends meet and continue our economic recovery. The great news with this bill is that it does include direct stimulus checks. It's going to be sending out $600 stimulus checks to individuals and $600 per child. This is $100 more per child than what Congress gave during the CARES Act, specifically with eligibility. People earning up to $75,000 per year will receive the full amount, so the same eligibility requirements as the first round, and the upper income limit for couples filing tax returns is $150,000. So if you make $75,000 a year or less as an individual, you'll receive the full $600. Or if you make less than $150,000 a year as a married couple, you'll receive this full amount. So anyways, that's what's going on with the second stimulus check and second stimulus package as of Monday, December 21st, 2020. Great news, we have a second stimulus package. It should be passed by the end of the day today, but now everyone in Congress has agreed on it. Mitch McConnell, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi, and all other lawmakers have said they officially agreed on it. Now they just need to get it passed by the end of the day today. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to get your four free stocks, each valued up to $1,600, when you download the Webull investing app using the link down below. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.